Welcome to Tangling Together with me. We are continuing on tanglepatterns.com and today it is this pattern that we are going to do. So let's open up the book and find a place for it. Take a deep breath. Relax your shoulders. Relax your arms and your hands. And just be grateful for the time we have together. Okay, I'm going to take my black Micron PN for this and this is a border and um, I'm going to place it down here I think. So let me turn my book a bit. So, so this one is starting with some uh, rice shapes and you can color them all in if you want to. You could also color them in some other kind of color. I'm going to skip a place here and make one more. And I'm going to continue with that all the way down my line here. I have around a fingers wide between them. Then I'm just gonna turn my page this way. It's gonna make it a little easier. So I'm going to make kind of an S shape here. Starting from the tip and going up. So from the tip going up. Like that. And I'm gonna do the same here at the other end, just going to make the line bend downwards. So from the tip into a downward uh, S shape. Like that. Um, I actually start here, I think. So I'm just going a tiny bit downward. And then in a bow over to the next of these ones. So a tip down and then over. And I'm gonna do the opposite down here. I'm going a tip down or up this, this way and then a bow, bow over. So down and over. I'm gonna do that everywhere that I have a tip like that. And here I'm just going to close it off like like so. And I'm gonna do the same here. I'm starting around where I would hit with a line right here and then going over and ending in a tip like that. You can do it like that or you can just leave the end open. I think that is very nice like this. Then I'm going to start here under my uh, rice corn shape with a line following the line up and ending like that and I'm gonna do that everywhere from the line by the rice corn and up. Like that. And I'm gonna do the same on the other side. So I will rotate my book here because that makes it easier. So I'm going to start here by the rice shape rice corn just like before and auroring this line all the way up. I'm gonna do that everywhere where I have the rice corn. There we go. 
turn that the right side around. So that is the pattern for today. I need my eraser because I have this um, darker line with my pencil. I'm going to erase it with my tiny eraser here. You really don't normally don't need that because uh, when your line is not that visible it really doesn't show that much. Um, put that to the side. So now it's time for some kind of um, shading and I'm thinking of um, yeah let's start with the charcoal my white charcoal and I'm going to make um, I think some white here in this middle middle part here like that taking my touchy young for the white and just soften it up a bit I like that. Let's take the graphite and I'm just going to place a little graphite here where uh, kind of the lines are going under. Taking my touchy young. And again, smoothening the graphite out, and I forgot one. And I'm doing the same on the other side. Turn your paper around to make it uh, lie right for you. And then taking my touchy young and soften it out. So that is actually the pattern. Um, you can also put some more colors in there if you want to, but um, I'm not really um, knowing what to do with this one. And I did put in the uh, graphite yet. Uh, oh, by the blah, blah. I'm really not knowing. Uh, so that is the pattern and I actually think it looks really really cool but it's maybe a little little too empty for me. Um, I was thinking of taking maybe the orange and placing uh, some color here in this tiny line here. Just to get some color in there. I think that helps a bit on it. Maybe I should do the other side as well. Or maybe that's too much. Nah, let's make the other side as well. And if you're using a color where the shading is disappearing when you are drawing over the shading, then just uh, wait for the ink to be dry and then shade it one more time. That will work as well. But normally I'm going to shade as the last thing on a tangle because then the shading will be on top.
There we go. So that is the end result of that tangle. I actually think it's pretty cool. It was this tangle right here. So thank you for watching. Have an attitude of gratitude.